What's up everybody? Russ with rwgresearch.com and quantumgravityresearch.org. So um, check this stuff out. I'm currently building an AC constant voltage power supply. Um, I've kind of made an introduction video to this project in a different video, so I'm going to go ahead and call this number two. You should probably go watch the other one if you want. Um, I basically took these power supplies that I'm currently using and I isolated the, um, the DC buses so that I could connect them as a 24 or a 48 volt power supply. So, really briefly, um, the power in this uh, uh, laboratory huh, that I've got, this garage, is really bad. Um, it's currently at 115, and during the day, whenever people start waking up, it's kind of early right now, uh, it, it'll get out all the way down to 108, 107 volts. I think when it hits 107, these UPSs kick over. So, um, it's pretty bad. And it's really screwing up some of my projects. So my goal is to build a constant variable AC supply. Doing that with old equipment. So these power supplies that I'm currently using, um, again, go watch that other video. But this is what they are. And they put out uh, 32... Once it figures out how to focus. 32 amps at 12 volts alright let me try something, I want to switch the setting let's try that maybe that's better 12 volt, 12, 32 amps uh, 400 watt power supplies and basically um, I've rigged them up so they're they're soldered together back here and uh, I'll get you a better shot of that when it's all said and done um, and I was originally going to mount these inside of here, put them inside this battery tray that used to be in here and put it in here. Uh, I think I changed my mind. I'm going to leave this external, um, and I've got a plug actually on, on this one here, and I'll show you that. Um, I'm going to leave this external so I can use this as a different power supply on other projects, and just plug this right into where the batteries are supposed to go in this thing. Um, now, one of the things I have to do is rebuild the entire back side of this panel. All the outlets and everything uh, were ripped out of this whenever I got to it. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, there's a little buzzer here that makes a lot of racket. I ripped the top off it, pulled the guts out of it. I'm done with listening to that. That's annoying. Um, so basically, in order to start this thing originally, you could plug in the batteries and get it to come on. Uh, I tried for a while and for some reason I couldn't get it to work like that anymore. Um, it may have something to do with whenever you whenever you kick this thing on, uh, the power supplies actually don't have enough current to start. You know the the massive amount of current that goes into this uh, transformer to gets the process starting. Uh, it doesn't really have that kind of power for some reason. It acts funny, and so I've just been plugging it into the wall, uh, turning it on, and then as soon as it kicked on to battery power, because that's the first thing it does is tests the batteries. I just unplugged the wall outlet so it never really gets to the phase that's trying to charge the batteries which would be putting extra voltage into my um, my supplies here which would be a bad bad thing so I did actually test and run this yesterday um, the, the uh, made lots of filament worked really well it, it, uh, it was a steady constant 120 volt fluctuated maybe one volt plus or minus half a volt so that's that's not bad considering um, considering my normal line voltage drops anywhere from 107 up to 120 it's really bad so that's about it I will give you a better overview once I get everything done but there's not really much else to do but I will I will give you a I guess a shot of this thing once I get my power supplies back together and also once I get this thing kind of put back together and running so that's it I'm gonna put this thing back together speak to you guys soon Bye. Oh, I'm back. One of the other reasons uh, I was going to show you this, and I forgot to mention to tell you this. So I showed you on the other video that there's two potentiometers here. One adjusts the voltage, and no one knows what the other one does. They think it's current cut off, but the guy who tested it said that that doesn't seem like it's accurate either. It's prob it, it probably is, though, I guess, but don't know. Anyway, um, so originally I had hooked these things up, not touching the outputs, and one of these green lights would flicker just a little bit, like it was pulling a little bit too much power or something out of one and not the other. 
So I went ahead and cranked up the voltage on both of these, hooked it all back up, and then I could get it to stay on. Because what would happen is this thing would be great, and then after a certain amount of time, it would finally give up on me. Um, so that wasn't very helpful. So I adjusted these things on the fly while everything was powered until I got everything stable. Now once it's all stable, now I'm going to put all this stuff back together. But uh, originally I did have issues with that. I had to go in and adjust these. Kind of a pain, but had to do it. Alright, printer's going in the background again. So here's my brick power supply. Alright, stuck together through Velcro as you can see. And um, very thick Velcro actually. So there's the front. I can you know carry it around if I wish. I really could uh, use to put something on the back here. Maybe I can uh, 3D print me a cover that isolates some of this stuff. But uh, wires are just soldered together. There is no switch. If I wanted to add a switch, I would just wire some of these up to the front here with a switch. And uh, I'm not sure even which ones I'll need to do. I'd have to play with it. But one of these will be power on. And that's the way that they all, most all power supplies are nowadays. Uh, then I've got my very nice uh, connector up here in the front. So that basically just allows me, and I, ma I made this adapter. The, the one I wanted to use originally was this style, and the other one is this style. The only difference is, is that there's an offset with the yellow. So you cannot plug these two together. It will not work. But the one on this unit is yellow, and the one on this, I'm using this gray. So there we go. Now what I can do is I can unplug this adapter, all right, and I can uh, then take my brick power supply and do what I want with it. So I'm not going to mount it inside here like I was intending originally. I'm going to just leave it external, or I can just set it in here like that to get it out of the way, which is just what I might do. But I will need to cover the back side of the uh, connection planes up somehow. Maybe 3D print something to slide over. That might be my best option. Alright, more later. I just tried this once before and it didn't work. So, it's a new day, but I'm going to stick this on the uh, other video. So, it's the same video. It's kind of long. Sorry. Constant variable, excuse me, constant AC uh, supply is complete. Um, so, let me show you what I got. Show you how it works. It's pretty straightforward and simple. So, in the front here, we've got the removable, okay, DC power supply. All right, so that just pulls out of there like that. This is now my uh, 24 volt, 32 amp, uh, 800 watt DC supply. I did go ahead and mount one of these plugs on the front and wrap some tape around the back of those prongs. I might do something different later, but temporarily um, that should work great. So you've got that component. Then the other component is the actual battery backup, um, which I have installed the outlets in the back. And I also put a switch back here. That way I could leave the, the cord plugged in instead of unplugging it. Now originally I could trip this thing um, by just using the batteries. I could turn it on, but for some reason I can't do that anymore. Maybe I damaged it. I don't know. Or it was a fluke the first time it worked. So, um, so the basically I'm just going to show you how to work this thing. Put the, put the constant DC supply here. I just so happen to have this cord which has two plugs on the end which goes back to a single outlet. Just kind of nice. So plug in these. All right. Plug in this. And I just tuck this in here to make it look a little nicer. Alright, so it kicked on the battery indicator lights, as you can see, hey, you see that? Um, I can turn those back off, and usually, 
you can turn this on like this and it just, just doesn't work. So, the, the, uh, the goal here is I got this switch on the back, which I probably should have mounted on the front. I got it on the back, so it's on off. So the trick is to plug it in, turn it on for a second, let it kick on to battery power, turn it off, and now you are on battery power. So we are running off of these supply inputs right here. I can unplug this now if I wish. And um, there you go. So this lamp is hooked up over here. I can plug it in. And now we have power. Ta-da! So that's the constant output DC, or excuse me, AC. Constant voltage AC supply output. Now this thing is actually rated for uh, for uh, this version, 1400 volt amps, 950 watts. Um, the only thing I can say about that is, in theory, I'm only putting um, 800 watts into this system. So I don't know if I can pull a full load. I know I've had the load indicator up to the second to last um, dot right here and it's worked fine so I'm assuming it will um, but I don't know so that's it basically that is the very well very nice completed unit here and uh, again then the only thing the only thing that needs to be plugged in when you're done with it and I'll end up probably leaving it plugged in I may unplug it but it totally goes through that switch it's just this one power cord so anyway I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this video and the last one there really there's kind of been uh, two videos in this series but that's it that's all I got for you uh, leave a comment all right peace out Russ going back to doing more uh, filament extrusion now that I've got constant power that's the entire reason I built this so Peace out. Later. What's up, Let me try that again. <laughs>